queen. Yep. There we go. Magnus is going for it. The king's going to continue advancing. OK, oh, it doesn't. No, no, but he's, this is a blunder. Oh, Magnus has oh blundered away his advantage. We this saw... is unbelievable. Yeah, he just wow. walked into a double attack. Simple check. White's king will move. And then the white pawn, white's only winning hope, is going to drop off the board. White's extra pawn is gone now on that B line. It's three pawns against three pawns. Easy draw for black. Totally. Uh, you spotted Whoa. it quicker than uh, <laughs> Magnus did there, Yvanka. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been there in the air for a long, long time. Oh, my God, I wanted to give up a pawn to get that uh, trade. But, uh, OK, well, yeah, Magnus just blundering away his victory. And uh, you could just see his reaction. He literally jumped up on his chair. He couldn't believe it. He did this. And, uh, OK, there is still now some small hope. And that is that potentially you can create a pass pawn on the right side. It's yeah. pretty far advanced. I mean, I know black should be easily able to handle it, but you never know. Yep. And maybe if white can get a queen trade in favourable circumstances, then the white king's slightly more active than the black king. The white king's going to be able to run towards the centre, run towards the pawns quicker. But after that pawn trade, black's king kind of hides out. Yeah, there's no real chance here. The problem is white's king's too open, and now there are lots of checks. Now you can't rely on it. You have no pass pawns that can easily run through. White's only pass pawn is easily mm -hmm. located by the Black King. So Magnus, he'll try, but Aronian, two versus two on the same side, it should be a simple draw.